I am the Desert Gardener, and today we're going to be talking about leaf miners. So I've got my tea. Let's get started. So if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you probably remember that I recommended that all desert gardeners plant their pepper plants in containers. Now there are two main reasons for this. I'll just recap really quickly. The first one is you can pick them up and move them around in the sun or out of the sun depending on the weather. Uh, when it's 115 they just simply need to be in the shade. They can't handle that kind of heat. And the other one is by putting them on a patio of some sort you can spray bug spray on the concrete and keep the crawling bugs away as there are a lot of crawling insects that will devour your pepper plants. In fact, this year I went one step further. I went on Facebook and I typed in curb alert and I started looking for people that were giving away old furniture, uh, end tables and coffee tables, side tables, anything I could put the pepper containers on. And it's worked really well. Not only does it bring it up and makes it really easy for me to harvest and look at them and see them. I'm not always squatting and uh, stooping over. Uh, but now I only have to spray the bug spray on the legs of those tables and the crawling bugs simply can't get to them. It's been working very well. Now you may recall I mentioned that there are only a few flying insects you needed to worry about and they come later in the year. Well, guess what? It's September, it's later in the year and that's when these uh, bugs usually come out. Now the one I wanted to talk most about is the leaf miner. Now I'll put up a picture so you can see it and it's pretty obvious uh, uh, there's a flying insect that will lay its eggs or larva in the actually inside the leaf and then the larva crawls around in there and eat, it, eats its way through the leaf and um, you can see the little tracks. Now there are a few different things you can do about that. Now first off you need to know about when they're coming so you can start looking for them. And again, that's now or September. Uh, when you do see them, um, you should just simply squeeze them. Now there isn't any on this plant, but you should just take your thumb and forefinger and start squeezing all along that trail. That will kill the larva inside. Oftentimes it's too small for you to see, uh, but it's important that you, you kill that larva so it doesn't hatch, create a new fly, and start the process all over again. Now another thing you can do is just simply pull that leaf off. Now it's important that you don't throw it on the ground or put it in your compost pile because that larva will hatch and create a fly of some sort and again the process continues. So you need to destroy it. Either throw it on the ground and stomp on it, throw it in your fire, um, get rid of it somehow. For example if your trash is going out tomorrow you throw it in your trash, let the city take it away. Um, but it's important that you destroy that leaf, destroy that larva. Uh, the next thing you should do is put some neem oil on it. This will keep other flies from landing and laying their eggs and larva in the leaves. So uh, it's, a, it's a very simple recipe. I take a bottle about this big. I think this is a two ounce, uh, um, no, this is a 12 ounce bottle. And I put a, uh, about a, a teaspoon of neem oil a teaspoon of dish soap, and you can use anything like uh, Dawn works fine, although Castile soap uh, works even better. And you can also, if you have it, uh, put in about 10 to 20 drops of peppermint oil. Uh, peppermint oil. It, uh, a lot of flying insects don't like the smell of the neem and the peppermint, and the soap is just there to keep it all mixed in. And you just 
spray it on. Now it's important you do this either really early in the morning or really late in the evening. You don't want to do it while the plant's in bright sunlight. Uh, this can cause problems. So it's best to do it late in the day, just before, just before uh, sunset. And this will keep uh, new insects uh, from landing. And the other thing you should do while you're here is uh, start looking at the underside of the leaves for aphids. Because this is about the time of year where you might start seeing aphids. And also, since this is a mist, if there are any webs on the plant, uh, you'll see the little droplets catching on the web. Now this is usually a sign of spider mites. And uh, spider mites can be much more of a problem. So if you see them, you may want to you know, remove the branch completely that uh, the, you, see the, you see the webs on. And again, get rid of it completely. Don't put it in your compost or anything. Just completely destroy it. And uh, also the neem oil will actually kill, if you put enough of, them on, enough of it on, a lot of those soft insects like the, uh, the, um, the larva, the aphids, and even the spider mites. So it works great and it doesn't seem to bother the good insects. So your pollinators like your, uh, your bees and your wasps don't seem to mind the neem oil at all. So it works pretty well. So I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.